What's going on everyone? Austin's Adventures here. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I do got my little windsock on my mic. Uh, but today we're going to do a little boat tour. Uh, people have been asking about it and I've been meaning to do one. I uh, can't really get out and do too much fishing today. It's super windy. Um, it's been like this basically all week down here in the Keys. So I'm at the mercy of the weather. But uh, I'll show you guys around my boat and uh so yeah let's get started all right so my boat is a key west 189 fs um it is of the 2013 variety with a yamaha 115 four stroke uh same year 2013 it is propped with a turning point propeller uh, it is a four blade I think 15 pitch um, if you want clarification on that I do have a video um, on how to prop your boat so I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check that out it is a small boat I mean it's only you know 18 feet but uh, we'll start up front here and uh, show you the tower um, custom upholstery which was redone this is a custom tower um, it is not rigged with controls um, if I do decide to do that um, I would want to use something with fly-by-wire instead of uh, cable controls as far as the throttle and everything goes uh, I do have a Minn Kota Terrova up front um, the iPilot it is a 80 pound thrust. And it works fantastic. Uh, comes with extra GPS puck. My last one didn't have that. Uh, we'll go into the anchor locker here. Forgive me, the boat's a little dirty. But uh, we got our quick connect for our trolling motor right here so we can unplug it and remove it as well as a quick connect bracket right here so we can remove the trolling motor very easily if needed. Um, got an anchor in here with I think about eight foot of chain, something like that, and a hundred foot of rope. up in the front hatch here Woo, that's a mess um, I got a new charge pro uh, for the trolling motor batteries this is basically a dual bank uh, battery charger so I could just plug in one plug and be good to go um, behind that we got trolling motor batteries I've yet to mount this um, it's probably gonna be mounted right there or off to one side i'm not sure yet but it definitely took down on some space because i used to put ice up there um i'd put about you know 20 30 pounds 40 pounds of ice up there for for a day of fishing um so up in here We have another storage compartment. I keep my cast net in there typically. Uh, Pop-up cleats, always wonderful. Here's a little tackle station that is on my door hatch, which opens up and disregard the mess, the messy wiring, but uh, there's my PFD, uh, my PLB, I got, you know, some fenders, sunscreen, my washout. In that box there, I have uh, that ammo box, which is waterproof. I have my flares, um, you know, extra whistle, my registration. Always keep the jacket in here. Got snorkel fins. I got a stern anchor. 
two fire extinguishers although i only need one since i am under 24 foot but you know you never know so i like to keep two um there's my tackle box so not really much to see in there just a mess <laughs> We got the bolsters for when you're fighting in big fish. Um, you know, bilge. There's live well. I'm not gonna open that because it's still got trash in it from the other day. I forgot to clean that out. I got more storage under here. It's probably got some trash in it. Nope, just my chum bag. Um, and then in here, we got batteries. I got two batteries. Um, battery switch. So, pretty simple boat. So I keep some stuff to keep it clean. Uh, this for grabbing on the mooring buoys. Got a gaff over here. Um, and then on to the cockpit here. Let's see, how many hours are on this thing? It's been a while. 603. 603 hours on it. I got the boat with about, I think, under 400. Um, we got Lowrance Elite 7 Ti. Switch panel. You know, bilge pump, lights, all that. I do have some lighting for at night, as you can see here. Spreader light. I do need to add one up front, but uh, we'll see. I don't really like running a light bar or anything. I use, uh, if, if at night I use an, uh, I think it's an omnidirectional flash, uh, spotlight. So basically it's a focus beam so you're not blinding everyone that's in front of you when you're running at night uh yeah i got a little stereo that i installed i actually have a video on that as well i'll put that link in the description too just a cheap little amazon boss um yeah pretty simple controls these gauges on this yamaha do not have my fuel consumption but uh it does have a 40 gallon tank and i made it from kudjo key down to key west to watch the boat races the other day one bar of fuel so if you can see here full is up top I only used one bar to get down to the keys coming back I used a little more because I was going into the wind and into the waves um, so it's, it's pretty fuel efficient especially with this the prop setup um, I had do I have it in here no I do not um, my extra prop and everything which I do keep on the boat if uh, I'm going into shallow areas, just in case, you never know. <clears throat> but uh, it does pretty well on fuel mileage. I think I'm getting uh, probably, man, you know, I, I'm not even gonna guess. I'll have to do the math for you guys. Maybe I'll uh, put it up in the, in the little description here. But uh, that's it. I mean, not much to it. It's a pretty simple fishing boat. Oh, well, I do have a VHF. It is always scanning 16, 6, 8, 22, and uh, 9. 
it's always scanning those channels uh, antenna oh yeah antennas mounted up here uh, which if you can see the tip of that is destroyed that's from forgetting to put it all the way down running under this bridge when it was uh, really high tide it was angled how I normally keep it and uh, the tide was just super high so whatever my fault I'm gonna have to get that replaced um, let's see I really don't think there's much else I can tell you guys um, I mean, I guess I could take you upstairs and show you the view, right? Let's do that. Ah, much better view up here, especially when you're fishing on the flats. And this boat will float pretty shallow, um, you know, roughly two feet is what I need to motor around. Uh, it will float in less than that. But, you know, I don't really like to, especially if it's hard bottom or, or rocky. But, uh, yeah, so this is the little upstairs view. This is a really comfy seat. Um, super comfortable to just sit up here and fish. Or if I'm slow trolling. But, uh, yeah, I really don't think there's much else I can show you. All right, now we got the boat on the trailer. Uh, there's a few things that I forgot to mention while I was uh, on the boat. <clears throat> I did install some Lenco trim tabs, electronic trim tabs, which helped tremendously. Again, excuse the dirty boat, I'm about to wash it off and all that, but uh, it's been in the water for a few days. So the Lenco's, there is my total scan transducer, which uh, allows me to do side scan, down imaging, um, you know, sonar, all that fun stuff. And uh, ew, that's disgusting. That's about it. Um, I guess we can go over one of my rod setups that I brought with me. I was doing a little fishing over here this morning. Um, this here is a Penn Battle 2 4000 series and it is on a star rod. Come on, focus. It's 10 to 20 pound line, half ounce to one and a half ounce lure. It is a pretty stout light rod. Super lightweight. I got a little live target pinfish on there, just screwing around with that. To be honest, I've never caught anything on one of those. <laughs> so, well, well, guys, that's it. That's the rundown of the boat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any questions, drop a comment down below. Um, you know, leave a like, and if you like this kind of content, please subscribe. It helps me out big time suggest to your friends who are uh, into the similar type of things fishing boats automotive stuff i don't know my channel's all over the place sometimes so uh thanks guys for watching and i will see you guys soon